Hi, um, I'm Jojo Mojo and if you've been reading my blog you know that I've been experimenting with Benny's mods. I'm going to do some stuff on genetics but before I do that I thought I'd give you a little tour of my base um, so that um, like you uh, got a bit of a, you know, so you can orientate yourself about where one what's what. So let's have a little look around. Um, so this is um, the main house, and in the main house, it's um, that's Miss Craft area there, and it's just looks fancy. Bedrooms downstairs. Um, if we come around here. Oh, Miss Craft portals. These go to the other players on our server. Those ones go to other areas that we like to go to. Um, oh, a little glimpse of some bee stuff going on there. Oops, taking a bit of a while to render there. So we'll keep an eye on that. Right, um, this is our, um, well, just our hovel, I suppose you could call it. This is originally our c a cave that we uh, started up in. Uh, and uh, as time went on, yeah, it, it did look like this ugly looking. As time went on we tidied up a bit and uh, add all the things we have around here. Um, nuclear reactor down there. Um, you can hear the villagers. Here's my captives. Um, like trading with this guy to get with some combs and um, frames. So if I actually take you to my bit, this is the bit that my other half built, and we both use it. But my bit. Um, that's another new key reactor down there. The pacifically cooled ones. So if we take, I'll take you into my B base. So here's the base. It's, it's getting um, quite big. Um, you can see with the flowers there. Guess where all the bees are. So if we go through. So, here's a lobby. Um, that's just got random rubbish in. Up the top here, this is my original room where I first started out with all my machines. Hence why there's a floating chest up there. <coughs> Impregnated casings. Um, so yeah, I first started out in here, but as time has progressed, I've uh, it's gone a bit more automated. Okay. Um, so down there is um, the genetics area, which you might have seen before in the screenshots. So if we go down and have a little look at those. Okay, so same as I haven't actually changed the setup since before. I have put a furnace in ready because Binny announced yesterday that we'll soon be able to start cooking these back up again. <coughs> and the cat has come in to annoy me. Um, so this one is my base bees that I like to use. Um, if I show you quickly the traits on these ones, they've changed a bit since my first introductory sort of blog post. They are, um, those are all still the same, but what I have done is I've changed the, the tolerances on them. I couldn't get that up to five for some reason, but I'm happy with four. I'll settle for that. That'll do fine for me. Um, so yeah, that's where I hatch out the babies. Um, let's just squash that up now. Ooh. Squash him, don't need it. Um, so yeah, and that's that's where I do all the genetic stuff. That's all my storage is in here, where I try and keep a little stack of drones from each particular species, with the exception of uh, these dudes, because they've only got a one on them. So I've kept them here safe. <coughs> okay, uh, over here is a uh, well, it's like a breeding room for when I'm playing with the dangerous bees. Uh, this particular breeder here, I was just set up to uh, filter back in the princess. And what I'll do is I put a stack of bees in, put the pre princess in, and it'll just keep on feeding the princess back through, and then all the bees will come out into this chest where I can uh, check the traits of them and see if I'm happy with them. 
Um, yeah, that's there. The processing room. The processing room's got a little bit bigger since the, the bold post that I wrote. Um, so we see now I've got all the colours automated and going. I don't actually have them all running at the same time. I have I, I have one of the tertiary and the secondary running, and one of the primary running. They're filling up pretty quick, so I don't see the point in uh, having all of them going all of the time. I'm not going to need that much dye. It just looks quite pretty. Um, oh. I'll just quickly fill that up. The annoying thing is, like, hoppers don't seem to be putting wax capsules in the same spot anymore. I tried it with a hopper, but it didn't work, so I might play that one a bit more. Um, those are resources I'm gathering at the moment. Um, doing quite well for the glowstone. Um, and wax, I'm... Yeah, I always have an excess of wax. Never sure what I can use that up on, really. I always have too much. So yeah, here's the processing room. This one is for the coloured ones, so... All the tinted ones. The tinted comb gets squeezed. Goes along here. Any wax goes down straight to the chest. Any of the tinted honey drops go into the, the squeezer. Squeeze the honey out. Goes into a tank, which is underneath the floor here. And then the dye will go fit filter back into here, as will any propolis that comes through as well. Um, so if we have a look, this is my power at the moment. This is new. You wouldn't have seen this before. So I was getting um, quite a lot of honey. Oh dear, I'm out of that. That's not good. Um, I'll have to make some more of that. Um, yeah, so here's my tank of honey. It's going down quite a lot. I have to make more bees. So the honey is in there. It's got a tesseract underneath it. There, just so I don't have a pipe going along here. I could have thought about a bit more, but this seemed easiest. Uh, that pushes the honey into there, which then goes into the fermenters, makes a nice biomass. I'm actually making quite a lot. I might actually be able to put some more of those engines in. Tank of biomass. Then the stills. I think these will full up as well, look. Oh, that one's actually full of ethanol. Okay. Then the ethanol tank. Then the biogenerators. That's one source of power. Goes into this MFSU by here. That's held in pretty steady. I've been watching that for the last half hour or so. I'm quite happy with that. And then electrical engine, which are now working. Um, I was having issues with these, I was having to break and replace them all the time. And then that goes up into this receiver here, which actually goes to our central one over in the other base. And then this is the other power source I've got, uh, which is using up all of the phosphor that I'm getting from the demonic bees, which is why I've got so much glowstone, because I went a bit crazy and wanted some more. I needed more, needed, wanted more, more tumor cell generators, because they look pretty cool. It's not quite producing enough of those ones yet. It's, it's keeping it steady on these ones, but pushing an extra two in might push over the edge. So that's that. Um, at the moment, uh, yeah, 140, one, two. I'm I'm making over 2,000 RF a tick at the moment from just honey and wheat. Um, so my wheat, um, you can hear some cows in the distance, but it's not that's not the cows that are for this. I've got some wheat coming from some bees, so from my farm bees, which I'm using the drops for for seed oil, and I've also got a couple of farms running as well, which have been fertilised. So I've got some pending cows over here. Um, some very silent cows, because there's lots of those sound blocks. Ooh, a little freeze there. It's a little there. Um, this will stay steady. This number of composters seems to be able to deal with that amount of liquid. doesn't seem to be yeah. Yeah. 
Okay, so if we go back out of here, I'll go show you the main bit, which is the, the bit that everybody likes is the bees. I get stuck. So if we go up here, uh, this is the first tower. There's, oh, what's the basement? I'll show you that in a sec. There's one, two, three, four levels on this, in this tower. And there's four alvearies on each. They all feed into this Billcraft pipe network. So where's my demonics? And there's a couple more demonics up there. And they all come down. Um, these, these are fabulous. If anything pops out, they land in here. So I haven't lost any bees as yet. You know, so sometimes you do get bees popping out. Yeah, I haven't lost any yet, so it's good. Um, so down here, and that's the central chest that they all go into, and then that pipe then takes them over to the centrifuges in the main room. This here, this one here is specifically for farmed combs. Um, so the farmed combs, oh there we are, just on cue. So the CD comb comes in, CD drop, CD drop nut dew goes in there. And I did have a bit of a backlog, but it's actually sorted itself out now, which is good. So then we're making impregnate sticks, which is then making frames in the workbench. Uh, I've got stick overflow here. Plenty of frames there. I also got the impregnated frames from my uh, prisoned forestry dudes the other side just because they last a bit longer otherwise I don't seem to be able to maintain the pace for these ones so every now and then I go and do a bit of trading and that keeps things sticking over um, so that's that side um, over this side I've just started doing some metal bees so I've uh, I've automated up my rusties my corroded and tarnished and lead and so I've got my four base metals on the go now so quite a simple setup comes down into a chest again I'm zipping in comes from the chest into the centrifuge I've got one for each type of comb because I don't want anything sort of stacking up and getting clogged up then we mix the grains the grains then go into the auto workbench mix the dust the dust then gets chucked over to here and um, the one alloy smelter seems to cope with the four of those and got the quite a nice little healthy pile of metal starting to accumulate. I only, I only set this up yesterday so that's, I'm quite pleased with that. It's probably been running about 24 hours with the chunk loader on. And that's about it. Hopefully that would uh, give you a bit of an idea of what my base is like and then maybe and the next video I can actually go and explain to you how we use all these lovely genetics machines. I'm not happy with the setup in here, but you know, if it ain't broke don't fix it. I think one day I might end up pre-hauling it, but anyway, until next time, bye!